Hey y'all, it's Megan again. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, today we're going through um, our corn for the very last time. We picked it last week and got about 75 ears. Um, and so we're going to go through today and pick everything that's left and go ahead and cut our corn stalks down. So uh, that's something you want to make sure to do if you do plant corn because the corn sucks the nutrients out of the ground even if it doesn't have any ears left on it. So after you pick your last batch of corn, make sure you go ahead and cut those ears to, uh, look, the stalks down. So yeah, we're going to get out here and pick us some corn. I'm going to show you today the easiest ways to preserve your corn so you have the freshest corn you can have all year round. Alright, so we're out here in the garden. We're just going to go ahead and pick everything. But when you're picking your corn, you want to make sure, especially on this honey select here, that the silk is turning brown. That's how you know when it's pretty ready. So then you just you're gonna pull that off. We're going to get the rest of this picked. Andy's over here chopping it down. He's already picked what was left on this row. We've got some fall corn planted here. We're hoping to get more fresh corn before the frost comes. Um, so yeah, we're going to get this picked. All right, y'all. So the first way I'm going to show you how to preserve corn, um, I, I like I like doing it both ways. I'm going to show you how to can it in a little bit. But we're going to be freezing corn on the cob. So the easiest way and the best way that I have found to do it is we're going to take us some saran wrap, clean wrap, plastic wrap, whatever you want to call it. We're going to pull some off. Okay. We're going to take that ear of corn, roll it up. Now, I haven't washed this, haven't done nothing, shucked it, brought it straight in, and we're doing this, okay? You can wash it before you cook it. Don't wash it now. Don't blanch. Don't do anything. All right, I got it wrapped up in the saran wrap. We're going to twist the ends best you can. Take you a freezer bag and fill your freezer bag up with corn. With corn. This right here, I have eaten corn that was up to a year old out of my freezer that is still almost as delicious as fresh corn. Now, of course, anytime you're preserving anything, it's not going to be as good as fresh out of the garden. We all know that. But this right here is mighty close, mighty close. It keeps so easy, you know, stack you some corn cobs up through here, make this good and flat, lays good in your freezer, don't take up a whole lot of room. Uh, no blanching, no washing, no anything. You go pick your corn, chuck your corn, wrap it up in saran wrap and stick it in a freezer bag. All right guys, let's get to canning. So I absolutely love canned corn and so does my family. So uh, it's a little bit of work that goes into it, but just give yourself a day or a half a day and you know can as much as you can and then in the winter time you're gonna be so thankful that you did because it is so good all right so the first thing you want to want to do is you're just gonna take your corn cob and set it down in a bowl and we're just gonna start cutting those kernels off and I've actually got a gadget up here that my neighbor down the road let me borrow I've never seen one before, but I'm going to try that too. Uh, hopefully it'll make this part right here a lot easier, but you can just do it with a knife like this. Just cut all that off. Now, alright, so I've got all that cut off. So you can leave it like this. This will be more like your whole corn kernel corn. But, I like to scrape my cob. Get all that juice out of there. Make your corn creamy. This is the way to go, guys. Look at all that. See that? That right there is coming out of that cob. It's going to make your corn so good. All right. We're done with that. That'll go to the chickens or the pigs one. And so, I got two five-gallon buckets full of corn that uh, I've got to cut off the cob, so I'm going to get to it, and then I'll uh, show y'all the canning process. Before I get too carried away, I wanted to show y'all this here. Not really sure what it's called, 
like I said, the neighbor up the road was nice enough to let me borrow this. So I wanted to try it out and see how it does cutting corn off. So this is your cutting edge. This is your creaming edge. So from my understanding, you hook it like this on the pot. Now y'all forgive me because this is my first time using it too. You lay your corn on it. Look at yonder. Now that's all right. scraping my cob. Now that right there is neat. Alright y'all. Well, I may use this for a little bit and get my corn cut off. Like I said, I got two five gallon buckets to go, so. Alright. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Alright y'all. So I got all that corn cut off the cob. This thing is full. So that may be a couple of canners full there. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get our corn in our jars. I just do mine in pint jars. That seems to be enough corn, you know, uh, as a side dish with a meal. So, um, I, yeah, I just go ahead and do it in pint jars. So we're just going to use our hands. Make sure your hands are clean. I just washed mine. And you're just going to start putting it in there. fill mine up to about that first ring right there that you come to. Alright. Alright, so we're going to fill up the next one. Give it a little shake. and rings and everything. Get the rest of my jars full and get them in the canner. I'm going to put these into the pressure cooker. Get my lid on here. We're going to let our steam vent for 10 minutes after you start seeing steam come out. Then we're going to cook this under 10 pounds of pressure for an hour and 25 minutes. I know, I know. When the first time I ever done corn, I was like, why does it have to cook so long? But it's just something about, you know, the heat has to penetrate the whole kernel to kill any bacteria, to can it safely. So that's why it takes so long. Um, but yeah. So, see y'all in about an hour and a half. All right, y'all. So my corn's done. I was actually up till about midnight uh, the other night fixing my corn. So I wanted to show y'all the finished product, though. I'm getting ready to take it to my basement and put it up. There you go. It is fully cooked. You open it up, pour it in a pot, put your little butter in it, and just warm it up because it's cooked. So that's why this is one of my favorite ways. To do it because it's already cooked makes for an easy delicious meal in the winter time 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, consider it if you like this kind of stuff. Um, and I appreciate y'all as always. And I'll put us a playlist up here. I ain't decided which one yet. Uh, but I will put us a playlist up here in the top and remember to watch more videos and I'll talk to y'all next time.